Okay, just want to let you guys know, this is like the <coughs> sacredest place. Over the weekend, The New Yorker released some new footage from inside the Capitol building during the Capitol riots, and it is truly incredible. So this was shot by the reporter Luke Mogelson, um, and this whole thing is 12 minutes long. I'm only going to play uh, about a couple minutes, but uh, the <laughs> what I'm about to show you, while you are watching this, just think to yourself, what would the officer's reaction be if this were, say, Black Lives Matter or Native American protesters or Antifa? Check this out. Hey! Fucking hey, man. Glad to see you guys. You guys are fucking patriots. Look at this guy. He's got covered in blood. God bless you. Yes. You good, sir? Do you need medical attention? I'm good. Thank you. All right. I got shot in the face. Where are they? I got shot in the face with some kind of plastic bullet. Any chance I could get you guys yeah. to leave the Senate wing? We will. I've been making sure they ain't disrespecting the place. Okay, just want to let you guys know this is like the <coughs> sacredest place. I know. I know. Hey, no, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. This chair. Because my pants is a fucking chair. I'm not one to usually take pictures of myself, but in this case, I think I'm making an exception. Can we, hey, can, can you and Ray, can you take a picture of me? I'm going to throw you my phone. Huh? Let me just... Yeah, I'm going to Literally. Thank you. Yeah, they ain't got a choice. There's half a million people here. You want to stay on? You should be stopping us. And no, no, no. He's doing, one, two, he's, three, he's, four, five. he's doing the right thing. One. He's obeying his own. When it gets to the point, where the insurrectionists are telling the officers, hey, shouldn't you be stopping us? <laughs> that should tell you everything. That even they recognize how insane it is that this guy was just sitting there as they were all just walking around the Senate chamber. Now, yes, to be super fair to him, it's one guy versus a bunch of lunatics. He's, his hands are kind of tied here. The reality is there should be a lot more officers in there. Can you imagine if this were Black Lives Matter, Native American protesters, Antifa? First of all, they would not have been able to even make it near the Capitol building. There would be an army of, of officers in front of it. But even if they somehow managed to get in, do you really think they would just be able to walk around the Senate chamber like this? <laughs> While the officer walks in behind the... Uh, uh, that ringleader there, the, the the lunatic, and asks the other guy, hey, sir, are you okay? Do you need medical attention? I mean, are you <laughs> are you out of your mind? <laughs> He's asking, what if the insurrection is, do you need help? Want a Band-Aid? Can I fix that wound up for you? <laughs> it is it is amazing. And then, um, oh, and then one of the, the best lines there, uh, the officer says, just letting you guys know, this is like the sacredest place. Oh my God. Imagine the yelling, the screaming, the gun pointing, the shooting that would be going on if this were any other, if this, if this were anybody else. But no, you get white supremacists storming the Capitol, breaking in, and officers just sitting around asking them if they need a Band-Aid, drink of water, uh, <laughs> need any help and it gets to the point that even the insurrectionists have to ask the officer shouldn't you be stopping us 